Hey guys, Kevin Lewis here, your credit crusher, and today we're talking credit scores, credit scores, credit scores. Promethean Credit Counseling is the company. You know us, you know me, Kevin Lewis, your credit crusher, and today I'm going to talk about your credit scores. So I've got a lot of people who have been calling me lately, and I talked about this briefly last week, but I want to get in depth about this conversation, about this topic, about this concern. So I've got a lot of people who are calling me and they're saying, hey, Kevin, how come my credit scores are so different everywhere I go? They look at one credit monitoring utility and it has one set of scores. They look at a different credit monitoring utility and it has a different set of scores. They go into their bank to get a car loan. Their car loan people tell you they have a different set of scores. They go into a mortgage lender, a different set of scores. So I'm going to talk to you today about those in depth. I want to take away some of the concern. Um, and I'm going to see if I can, I can see if I can put your mind at ease. All right. So let's talk about why those things are so different. Different, there are, so there are two companies really that are in the forefront of scoring, what they call scoring models. There's FICO that you most, most people know, but there's also Vantage. So FICO is the earliest form of a metric. They are the ones that invented the actual credit scoring models. Okay. But FICO has nine different versions of their scoring model. FICO 1, FICO 2, FICO 3, on up to FICO 9. And next year they may even have a FICO 10. Vantage is another company. They came much later, but they also provide a scoring model. And they have currently four versions that we know of. They may be a fifth on the horizon, but there's at least four, right? So now, every version, let's just talk about FICO for a second. We'll get back to Vantage in a minute. So every version of FICO scoring uses a different metric to calculate your scores. For example, Let's, let's go back a little bit. Let's, let's take a step back a little bit. So we in the industry tell you all the time that there are five factors that go into your FICO score. There's your payment history, which is 35%, your credit utilization, which is 30%, your credit age, which is 15%, your credit mix, which is 10%, and your hard inquiries, what we call new credit, is another 10%. But that's not absolutely... Those numbers, those percentages, those factors are the same, but those percentages are not absolutely true for all models. For example, one FICO model might weigh your payment history at 40%. Another FICO model may weigh it at 32%. For example, FICO 8, and I'm not saying these are the absolutes. I don't know what the, uh, not that I don't know. Uh, I'm not putting out there which model uses which. I'm just simply saying, giving you this as an example. Keep that in mind. So let's say FICO 8 may use 40% for your payment history, whereas FICO 2 might use 30%. Okay, and credit utilization may, the percentages may differ amongst those two FICO models, right? So if you are looking at a platform or a lender that uses FICO 8, and you compare that to a lender or a platform that uses FICO 2, you might see different scores because your payment history weighs more heavily with one than the other. Okay, same with all the other factors. They are different according to which version of FICO you're using. And then Vantage, the same thing. So Vantage 4 might use 40% for your payment history. Vantage 2 might use 30%. So if the, the creditor is using Vantage 4 and another creditor is, is using Vantage 2, of course, your scores are going to be different, right? And then the creditors or the credit monitoring utility might use different between those two. They may, one credit monitoring utility might use uh, FICO, one may use Vantage. So you're going to see your scores differently. So if you go into a mortgage lender, they may use FICO. You go into a car dealership, they may use Vantage. So your scores are going to be different. And you can walk right out of the mortgage lender's office, right to the car dealership. The mortgage lender just told you that your three scores are 710, 715, and 720. You go into the car dealership. The car dealership tells you you're 680, 690, and 695. And so you're saying, what, what is going on? Well, we're using different scoring models. Okay. 
And so what I would tell you is, here's the tip. Don't go crazy about your scores. Pay attention to your scores. They are important because that's what they use to give you, what, that's what creditors use to decide on, decide on whether they're going to lend to you. But don't get caught up in the scores in as much as you get caught up in the issues. If you fix the issues on your credit, it doesn't matter what scoring model they use, your scores are going to go up. For example, let's take credit utilization because that's because that's the one that you can impact the fastest and the greatest. So let's say your credit utilization is at 50% right now and you drop it down to 25% across the board. Well, it doesn't matter whether you, they're using FICO 1 or FICO 9, doesn't matter whether they're using FICO or Vantage, all of your scores will go up as long as, as long as, and keep this in mind, as long as you don't do something negative to offset the positive. So if you bring your credit utilization down, but you miss a payment, of course, your scores are going to go down because that negative offset the positive. But as long as you've done everything positive, all of your scores will rise. You guys have heard the saying, as the river rises, so do the boats. Well, that's the case in credit. Fix your issues. All of your scores will go up. Doesn't matter what model they're using and which one of the scoring models or scoring company models they use. Okay? Keep that in mind. I want to put this in your ear too. This is another tip. This is another tip. So the tip is, oh, one other thing. Choose a credit monitoring utility and stick with that one. That's the way you won't drive yourself insane. So if Credit Karma is what you like, stick with Credit Karma. If My FICO is what you like, stick with My FICO. If Experian is what you like, stick with Experian. But don't toggle between the three because your, your scores are going to be different across them and you'll drive yourself insane because you're like, I don't know which one, I don't know which one they're going to use. Just choose one, fix the issues, and just know that if your scores rise with one of them, they're going to rise on all of them as long as you don't offset the positives. One other side tip. This is, we're, going to, we're going to come across the side on this, right? We're going to come around the corner on this one. One other tip. This is a little bonus tip. The bonus tip here is different lenders use different things to inject into the scoring models as well. For example, mortgage lenders not only use the five factors that we talked about, but they also put in a sixth factor, which is rental and mortgage history. So if you have been evicted in, at some time in your life and that's on your credit report, that is going to weigh more heavily for a mortgage lender than it is going to be for a credit card credit card or an auto lender. In fact, auto lenders don't even look at that. They don't care about that. So when you go to a mortgage lender, a lot of people come to me and they say, well, I'm looking at my scores. I'm in the 700s, the 750s, but I went to my mortgage lender and my mortgage lender says my scores were in the 680s. Why is that? The reason is because were you evicted from a, an apartment ever before? Did you have a foreclosure? Did you have a late or missed payment on a mortgage before? Did you have late or missed payments on your rent? Those things go into calculating whether or not your scores are going to be higher for the mortgage lender. And you have to understand because mortgage lenders are going to be concerned about that where auto lenders are not going to be. Conversely, if you look at an auto lender, auto lenders not going to really care about your rental history. They're not going to care really about their mortgage history. They're going to care about have you ever had a repossession? Have you ever had a late or missed payment on an auto loan? Because, of course, they're auto lending. So, and then if you go to a credit card company, of course, credit card companies don't care about those things in as much as they care about, have you ever had a charge off for any one of your credit cards? Um, if you go to a bank, bank uses a, another credit uh, report called Check Systems, which is another bureau, and they're looking for any charge offs from any banks, um, any open balances from any banks, any, um, any insufficient funds from banks. So that weighs more heavy. So just know that you should pull your credit reports, look at all the issues, fix all the issues, and you won't have to worry about whether or not you go to a mortgage lender or an auto lender or a credit card or a bank, or if you look at a credit monitoring utility, you won't have to worry about that because your scores will rise. All right? 
That's your digital gem for Tuesday. This is Credit Tip Tuesday. I'm Kevin, your credit crusher with Promethean Credit Counseling. Stay tuned until the next time we come drop another digital gem.